In today's video, I just want to talk about the Mail app that's built into Mac OS. It's called Mail. And this is an app that allows you to sign into your email accounts and allows you to receive mail, send mail, everything you would think around email, except it's an app that's stored on your computer. So if you're used to using maybe Gmail or like a Yahoo email address, you usually would go to the website through Safari or another web browser, log into your email account, and maybe it's already logged in, but you'd load that email account and then you see your email messages there. So what Mail does, it, is, it signs into those accounts, allows you to see all of the data and it's storing it on your computer in addition to it being out on the internet. So it can be much faster to interact with your email using the Mail app. If it's the first time that you've opened Mail, you'll see this screen. Just hit the Continue button. It'll try to import messages if there's media or uh, data already on your computer for your email messages. In this account, though, there's no previous email accounts. So there's nothing for it to read, so it's going to ask which of these providers am I using for, for mail? So you would select your account on here. If you're not using one of these email providers, you can click on Other and then say Continue. And when you do Other, it'll ask you to sign in with the email address and password and then ask you for the settings for that account if it can't find it automatically. If you're unable to find the settings or if it asks you for, say, an incoming mailbox um, or, sorry, incoming mail server or outgoing mail server and you don't know those, you'll want to go to your email provider and ask for those. And they should be able to provide those. Usually they're listed right on their website. So if you have one of these accounts, though, really easy. You just select the type of account that it is, hit continue, and then you'll sign in with those, uh, with that, with those credentials so that you can sign right in. And for the purposes of this demo, I've just added one of my iCloud email accounts to this user account. And I'll keep all the messages blurred out just to protect the identities of those users. But in this mail app, we see a couple different buttons across the top for our toolbar. We have an option to create a new message. Uh, we can hit get mail, which will refresh and check for new messages. And you can see there we get a whole list of messages come right in. On the left column, you might see those little blue dots. That represents an unread message. The unread messages show up that way. And on the right side, it says no message selected, but that's where we'll see all of the details for that message. So let me just click on this first message here from Glassdoor. And we can see on the right side that message. I can go through and read the message, scroll through it, see the contents, click on any links, just as you'd expect, it's email. There's not much to it. And then on the left column here, we do get an option for mailboxes. So you can click on this to see a list of all of your folders that are stored on your account, including the inbox sent as you delete messages. You'll see a trash, all different options there for organizing your email will be in there. So it's pretty straightforward. Again, not much to it. It's just email, but it's all stored here locally on the computer after it downloads. So a few tips I do want to throw out there. Under the window menu, there's an option to see activity and the connection doctor. The activity will show you what's happening behind the scenes of the mail app. So this is a great place for you to go to check to see what's happening. Right now there's no activity, but if you're sending an email, say with a video that you exported, it may take some time. So you can use this activity window to monitor that message being sent or see if something's stuck in receiving. You might be downloading new mail and not know what's happening. Go up to this activity window and you can monitor that. In addition to activity, the other other window is the connection doctor. And the connection doctor shows us the connections we have from the mail app to the servers that's actually supplying this email. And for most accounts, you're gonna have both an IMAP or an incoming mail server and an SMTP server, which is the outgoing mail server. So there's different ways that you can send and receive messages. And you may be able to receive messages fine, but then if you go to send one, it's not working. And that may be because one of these servers is not connecting correctly. If it's not, you'll see on the right side here in the details the reason it's not. This may be because there's an incorrect password or another setting that's just wrong when you set up the account. So if that happens, just double click on the one that's having an issue 
it'll open up the preferences for mail and select that account so that you can then look at this and make the correction. You might need to update the host name or the password, but either way, the connection doctor is what makes it really easy for you to get to that, uh, can diagnose the problem and see exactly where you need to get to fix that. So that's my couple of little tips for mail. If there's something specific you'd wanna see uh, or a question you still have about mail, leave it in the comments below. Or like always, you can send me an email, finalcutprohelp at me.com. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your day.